Hey, Christopher, crawling around. What are you doing? Iridium trash cans ready? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the 27th of spring, year three. There's some stuff I want to do, and I didn't want to miss showing it, so it's time to record again. I got a mess of stuff. I'm trying to create pathing, and I pushed it to almost 2 a.m. Let's pepper popper it up. I got a new shirt, a new farm, basically. Wait until you see it. There's things to talk about. But yeah, I want to buy the Return Scepter and kickstart the 1.5 stuff. There's community upgrades at uh, Robin's place. And I have all this money. It's time to start doing stuff. I'm getting bored of the same routine and I want to advance to the stuff that I haven't done yet. And I figure I better record it if I do. But check this out. Look at it. I've been busy with paths. Got the brick one that I've been replacing because I did all this rustic one that's right here. But I like the borders of the brick flooring, so I've been spending the last couple days uprooting the old one and replacing it with brick. So it's a work in progress still, but we'll do a little more of this video. Leah, I moved all the lightning rods up here, and the crystallariums are in a nice corner, if you saw down there. I like these little ketchup and mustard chests. And I moved everything! The greenhouse is now right here, and check this thing out! All the fruit trees are coming in. We still got the coffee beans going pretty well. And pretty much every day that I come in here, there's ancient fruit. Because it's all staggered on different timers. Which works out beautifully, actually. I like it like that. Still got some strawberries, too, and a little bit of star fruit. Thinking about destroying the strawberries next harvest or so. And going for even more star fruit or something. But alright, coffee beans go in the mini fridge. And the main fridge takes the ancient fruit. And the peaches and pomegranate, just in case we run out and we really need something. It's kind of winter preparation way in advance. Because these kegs are going to outdo these crops. Maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm being a little, uh overly cautious here. Got a big shed here. We'll dip in there in a moment. Sturgeon Row is coming in pretty regularly now. I like this path. This I left this all woodsy because I like it. Keep them to the forest farm. But this shed is the preserves shed. I still have to expand it and still slowly grinding coal so that I can craft more of these things. We should have a cauliflower harvest coming tomorrow. Deluxe Spe Speed Grow gives you three cauliflower harvests if you start on the first. But we got kale and strawberries and stuff if it runs out. I moved the mill back here because it's like seldom used. Hi, doggy. Looks like Leah already watered the dog. Yeah, this thing's all kind of done. A little bit of cauliflower, but that's where I was doing the kale and stuff. But check this out. I moved the animals so they had access to the grass. And I love how this works out. Their doors are open, but they can't come out until I chop the stumps. So it's an excuse to gather just a couple hardwood every day. And that's nice because there's like some torches and stuff that need it. Like that thing right there. I've been crafting these little, what are they called? Braz braziers? Braziers? I don't know. All right, come on, cows. I don't know, it's just cool. I just broadened their whole thing. Destroyed the old fencing. So there's grazing spot, and then also beyond the fence, there's a spot for me to sickle down or use the scythe, whatever. All right, big shed. This is just more kegs in here, and I moved the animal things. Because I know if I kept the animal things down way in that corner where they are now, it would just mess me up at the end of every day when I'm rushing to get to bed on time, you know? Okay. So, duck feather, caviar, all the pickles. Who cares about mahogany stuff? The little bit of hardwood. I got so much of that now. I'm saving coral. Waiting to see which stack gets to 10 first so I can go see the wizard and get... Um, 
the thing that warps you to the beach without using up anything. But all right, let's finish what I was doing last night. I was using all of this space this spring, but I want to divide it up. So let's get rid of this dirt here. Because the honey, it's not even worth it with the spring flowers, so I just didn't even bother. I don't even know where I want to go. I'm just... I have a path going down this way. I want to join up with it. Hmm. I guess we got to clean up this stuff. I'm trying to let some of it grow wild. Because we're still doing the oak resin thing. Got to fill up that big shed. There we go. This will work. It's a little weird, but... Let's double it up. All right, so all that flooring I dug up, I got to reuse some of it here. That's good. It's a Saturday, so no traveling cart. All right. So the honey we got to move at some point. Yeah, I created an iron lamp. So that's why the wood chest is now down here. I just like that they're all in a row, too. All right, to Robin with our wood. It is time because Robin has two community upgrades. Ooh, horseradish, yes. Shrimp cocktail, man. So yeah, let's kickstart this first one. We'll grab all this wood, we're gonna need it because this thing costs a bunch. Dipping into our keg supply. All right, community upgrade. You want to build Pam a house. That's a great idea of 950 wood and 500,000 gold. So it's a lot. Oh, three days, whoops, I wasn't planning for that. Well, I could just play and then like start the recording when it's happening again or something. All right. Now we need to think about wood, since we just used up like the whole bunch. All right, this works. It's not by the quarry, maybe. I've kind of just recently cleaned it out, though, so it might not be ready. Did I talk about the shirt? It's just iridium ore and cloth. I think I did. Radish. Sometimes there's one sitting there. Oh, we got one tree. Oh, yeah, I came in here with bombs and was just having a field day not too long ago. So, yeah, it's still kind of blown out. Copper, who cares? So, that's one thing off the list. We gotta get the return scepter. And we have to repair Willie's boat. I still never submitted the batteries, but I absolutely have them now. I've been buying some off the cart lady when she appears. Also, you know what? Robin's been having more and more torch recipes. Yeah, skull one now. A use for the bone fragments, for sure. What else we got here today? Hey, that's kind of neat. Sure, why not? At some point, I'm going to buy the catalog offer and just buy exactly what I want. Same with uh, Pierre's got a like, flooring and wallpaper catalog, too. So that's another way to spend all this money. Because it's just going to keep growing, and the more kegs and preserves jars, it's going to grow even more. So it's like that and the wizard stuff. Obligatory sort the junk. It's been a while for me, though. I don't know. <laughs> Watch. There's no break in this series. Every day. Even after the finale. It's just more daily videos. It's addicting, man. Alright. Said hi to the dog. Oh yeah, stuff's ready. Dude's playing with blocks or something. 
Yeah, I don't know what about that Christmas room. And this up here. Well, actually, you know what? It'll work. We kind of have like a woodsy thing going on. I don't know what's with me in that word this time around. I don't know. I really got to think about how I want to decorate this house. And still somehow maintain the kegs, too, because that's the thing. We got the rhubarb here. That's that's primarily what I've been doing. A little bit of kale mixed in with the rhubarb. All right, we need coffee beans in five, so that's all we can do. All right, ancient fruit it up. It actually works out pretty well. I've get look at how much I have. By the time these things are ready, I usually have enough ancient fruit for the bulk of these kegs that I haven't even had to dip into the rhubarb too much. I think there's an achievement for doing shipping 15 of everything, though. So that might come back to bite me, because I haven't really been shipping the ancient fruits by themselves. Because it's just too valuable to make wine out of them. Oh, we got sluggish speed now. Man, if I ever started a new game, it would be so painful without those pepper poppers and the espresso, too. Alright, ancient fruit and rhubarb. What was going on down here? Nah. It's just a matter of time. I almost don't want to ship them all because what if tomorrow I need some of them? But they don't usually come in huge bulk in that cask room. All right. 440. Let's get some spicy eels. I have so much of that, dude. Because the crystallariums have rubies in them. And rubies, you can exchange for one spicy eel. I don't know why I wasn't doing that before. Instead of fishing for the eels myself. Uh, anything going on? Well, animal products, of course. These kegs feel like they're slower, but maybe it's because I pop in here every day. Alright. The speed is unreal, dude. Imagine if I was recording at 60 frames, it would look probably the way it's supposed to, but yeah, well. Data, I guess. There's the truffles. A gold star one, too. I should process that into oil, but... I'm still building up. I gotta make more oil makers, too. Whatever. I'll get on it. But for now, it's whatever. Ooh, coffee's done, okay. That's enough for an espresso, too. So there's our daily pepper popper, and we gotta do the rhubarbs. Five coffees, that's one. This stuff, dude, I have so much of it now, but it's amazing. All right, let's go. I think we're good, 610. And you know, since Pam, hey, salad, dude. Oh yeah, and a dandelion. Can craft a salad when we get back. But there's some Pam and Penny cutscenes that I haven't seen yet. Like they fight in their trailer and stuff. I wonder if I could trigger that before the house is done. Cauliflower for Willie. Eh. I don't really care about those quests anymore. They're so minimal. Eh, nobody's home. Alright, well, on to the mission at hand then. This is gonna leave me with 299,000. I don't know, like, part of me still doesn't want to, but no. I know I'm just gonna get bored. It's time. I want this before the 1.5 stuff. Yeah. Well, it's done. 
And just like that, down to like baby money. Which of course in year one would be amazing money, but... Alright, we gotta have an excuse to use this thing. I guess let's go to the beach. There's some crab pots there. And then we'll just leave the horse and warp back. Because we're pretty much done for the night anyway. You know, changing the fishing skill might not be a bad idea. I hardly ever go fishing anymore. So, part of me is thinking to switch to the crab pot. Like, skill tree part of it. So that those are better. That's another thing I can do, because what I'm going to do... I'm not going to play the 1.5 stuff until probably winter. Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah. Combined with the wizard's thing to the beach. Whenever I have enough for that. Which, where are we now? It looks like the silver quality is going to beat all the other ones. Because I need ten of those and, uh... Ten clams. Salad. There's just so much to do all the time now. But it's great! Alright. So many gifts in here for, uh... Leah? Christmas room is not... Alright, uh, nothing's brewing anymore. We're done brewing. I did say hi to the baby, right? Oh yeah, he was like at the foot of the bed first thing. Uh, rhubarb wine goes in. The rhubarbs go back in the fridge. Okay, it's only 8.40. Anything in the big shed happening? Well, that's not it. I guess the sprinkler, on well, this honey situation, let's uh... I don't know, we could even expand the left side of the farm even more, maybe. So we could go back, I have so many quality sprinklers, look at that, 27 of those things. So let's just bring one of those dumpy things back, and just go back to how it was. was just like the patch of three or four over here. Actually, that sprinkler's gonna get it too, though. I don't know, man. This is the kind of stuff I like, when I'm just playing on my own time, I'm pausing left and right. Trying to get it perfect, but I can't do that if I'm recording, obviously. Uh, wandering lost, panic. Yeah, you see, I got tiles ready to move these sprinklers up. Everything I'm shifting up. But I don't want to move them just yet, because we still need a day of cauliflower. So tomorrow we can get the left side all squared away. Alright, I'm just stalling here. Oh, Emily's... well, whatever. <laughs> well, there you go. This is like my new routine. Did I even finish the pathway? There's more brick floor stuff I could do. 84,000 farming. I really should be saving the uh, oranges at least. And maybe the cherries. And the apples. Alright, final day of spring. Pam's house is not going to be ready, but... We got cauliflower. Queen of sauce. Why is it? Um, oh yeah, it's just the Sunday one doesn't say rerun. We have them all though. Hey kid. Wine for... oh no. 
Sweet, free salad. It's a free gift to return to her too. I've been noticing this game is jumping. Like the video is skipping like crazy way more. I don't know if it's cause I got so much going on or what's happening here. No, nothing still. Do I have enough coffee beans for this? No, I do not. So I guess rhubarb it is. Well, actually, wait, you know what? When this happens, sometimes dipping into the greenhouse. Oh man, we got rubies ready too. And the cauliflower as well, man, it's crazy. All right, well, we gotta get to the ancient, what? Stuff keeps growing, man. I gotta extend that brick flooring over here so that stops happening. The only problem is then we don't get to see the cool grassy terrain that's just naturally here. Yeah, I keep walking into stupid things. Man, so many rubies now, it's ridiculous. Probably go back to Jade, though, soon, in the name of staircases. Or even diamonds, who knows? Alright, uh, greenhouse. Ancient fruit. Uh, I got a couple. Strawberries are in. I might leave them a little bit longer, think about destroying them in the summer. Maybe get some peppers going so I can make sure I always have peppers. Cause they're starting to run a little low. If you think like 70 is low. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it's at. Alright, well. Still gonna have to do some rhubarb, but... Sometimes too you can find coffee beans that way. Saying it like your file's exactly the same. I don't know what I'm talking about here. It would be neat to just ignore everything until everything is on the same timer, but... I don't know, it's just too tempting to grab the stuff. Plus you lose progress and things that way. Alright. Time to harvest some cauliflower, I guess. Let's get rid of the, uh... I saved the dumpy strawberries for that just-in-case moment. Eventually, these tree fruits are gonna be increased in quality just because they've been around for so long, too. I don't know, I have a feeling... Because, alright, going into summer, we're just gonna go melon nuts. And starfruit a little bit too, maybe outside even. And red cabbage too. Those that's it. We're not even gonna touch anything else. Maybe just a couple peppers to keep the pepper popper supply going. But like those, I could just do a tiny corner in the greenhouse. But blueberries, there's no need for that. Tomatoes suck, and we got plenty for any recipes. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll do a plot of corn, just to keep the oil going. And then that could double as preserves jar ammo. <laughs> if the going gets rough in the winter. And then fall, it's just pumpkin and yam insanity again. And artichokes, too. That's the thing, artichokes and yams, with the artisan profession, they sell for the same. The preserves jar version of them anyway. So it's kind of just pick which... Artichokes are faster too. I don't know. I'll have to think about it when fall comes. Okay. That's that. Sell the gold ones. The rest... Well, sell the silver too. I could keep them. It's actually better to keep them and turn them into preserves, but I don't know. I'm feeling confident that, I don't know. I want melons more so. And we've got kale, so when the cauliflower runs out, even though kale's not as good, it'll be all right. Yeah, even the row takes care of it some days. Well, actually, you know what? If that's the case, 
we can move these strawberries out of here and move them to the big shed, which at the moment only has rhubarb in it. And since we're not going to have melons right away, we're going to need something if the rhubarb runs out. And actually, if I was smart, I would analyze the main refrigerator and move all the backup ammo to the fridge until the melons are in. But, ah, whatever. I mean, there's still a decent amount in here. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, we're good. Rhubarb time is way better than strawberries. why we did this in mostly cauliflower. The kale was just kind of stir-fry things and for the preserved jars, really. Okay. it's a decent chunk of change we're going to get for all these wines. Not quite ancient fruit kind, but it's good enough. Um, I need an iron bar. Because I want to make, with this battery pack as well, another iron lamp post. It's pretty cheap, actually. These batteries are not a problem right now. And actually, speaking of that... Hold on, where do I want this, though? Could do it at the entrance by these lightning rods. Or... Over here was kind of hurting for some lighting. Like the corner piece of the pathways. Well, no, because if I get the wizard stuff, I might want to... Maybe right here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like placing lamps anymore. In my boredom, I guess, of looking for other things to do. But also, we need tappers on those trees. Yeah. Very nice. I don't know why the pine's taking so long. Just decided I would get one of each type there in the middle since I removed the animals and things. Okay. Um. We never got our iridium trash can that was ready yesterday, so I guess we'll take the minecart here. Yeah, I've just figured, why not? I have the money and the supplies. Let's upgrade the trash can. And actually, out of stock. There you go. That's iridium everything. So that's, what, 45%? If ever I use that? I don't know. I can't even remember the last time I tossed things. Well, let's dip into the beach. Oh, wait, you know what? Well, we have a return scepter, so... Hey, gifts for Leah. Yeah, if I'm gonna be at the beach, why didn't I bring batteries? We gotta do the 1.5 stuff. That is so awesome. Alright, and actually, you know what? I crafted beach totems a whole bunch. Five batteries we need. Yeah, we'll just warp right back. We don't need the horse. Don't need to worry about crops because the season's ending. So this is another thing on the list. We got the return scepter. Pam's house is underway. And this is the big thing that's going to determine future videos. All materials have been found. The boat will be repaired overnight. All right, so just like the Junimo stuff, I guess. Uh, he's not saying anything about it. I really don't know. I haven't looked too much into the island things. So I couldn't even tell you what it entails exactly. Like, I have a vague idea, but I don't know all the details. Of course, maybe by the time I actually get there, I'll have read up on it. Oh, we're sluggish speed again. And we're out of ancient fruit. We'll do pomegranate. Change things up. It's not as good as some of the other options, but eh, I don't know.
All right. That should do it. Oh, hey. It's kind of neat, I guess. But what does that mean? Is there going to be a cutscene here? Because I wasn't planning on playing the first of summer. I just wanted to do the end of spring to show you what I've been working on. Mostly the paths, I guess, and the sheds. Moving all the buildings around. I just want to see what happens, but... So yeah, the plan for the summer is to go melon crazy. So that's the first thing, but... Uh... I got what remnants I do have from the siege chest. But uh, yeah, I'm really like not in the... I already feel like I'm going too slow. We'll just step outside and see if there's something or check the mail, whatever happens here. Cutscene. Cookies from Evelyn. Good news, the old boat is seaworthy once again. Thanks to you. Stop by the back room whenever you want to ride. Shop is now open 8 a.m. every day. Yeah, but like I said, I might not do this until winter. Alright, so this is going to be post-commentary for the rest of the video. I just recorded when this actually happened. This is Pam's house getting complete. So hey, Bill, so what do you think? feel pretty good about it. In fact, it might be my finest work yet. Notice the round window. Very, very difficult to bend the frame like that. Oh, and the intricate carvings on the door. Took me forever. Did you notice that? I guess I'm rambling about wood again. Anyway, I'm gonna go talk to them, but first I have to ask. Do you want me to tell them that you paid for this? I said, no, I'd rather remain anonymous. I mean, you kind of want to take credit, but it almost feels like the right thing to do is just be a mystery person. That's a nice new house you got there. Someone else came up with the idea, and they paid for everything, too. It kind of makes me wonder what would happen if you did take credit for it. They insisted on remaining anonymous. They probably stayed anonymous so we wouldn't have to feel obligated to them. Whoever you are, you are truly a pure angel. Yeah, if only you knew, Pam furthest thing from an angel. I wouldn't go that far. I like the, the little stupid reaction. From now on, we'll be like a real family, you hear? I don't want to be so bitter all the time anymore. Yeah, so I guess he tries to cut back on the beer and <laughs> the hugging animation. So then later, after that, I went back for the final community upgrade. It is the last thing in, like, the main game to do. You add shortcuts around the valley for 300,000 gold, which, compared to the other one, is not too bad. And that's really it. Aside from buying the catalog and just all that kind of stuff, that's, like, the main Stardew Valley thing. So here's some of the shortcuts when it was finally complete after three days. Here's one of them. I don't show them all here. It's very brief snippet so there's that one over here there's one that your horse can't get through and probably the most convenient one is the beach now has a shortcut to leah's cottage to and from but thank you for watching you guys and uh probably when i'm at winter i'll start covering the 1.5 i don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow's video or if i'm gonna wait we'll see what happens but it's a very addictive addicting game 
and it's hard to put down. But thanks again. See you around.